you know, to be honest with you, we understand that we have been through that pandemic situation now. On the hit side, again, as I had said that we are looking forward uh, for the reinsurance market to develop a new product. Innovation should be there in terms of a reinsurance complete market in different lines like, you know, liability in marine cargo programs and in the property market as well. Also, there are some new products which are coming on the extended warranty in the, on the world platform, given the situation that the electric vehicles are coming down in the automobile sector. So that is a good hit for the reinsurance company, which is coming uh, as a new uh, innovations. Uh, in terms of other uh, business, yes, we are looking forward and also the reinsurance market is looking forward to have new kind of businesses. Uh, in terms of from, our, um, you know, Southeast Asia region and also from the other regions. So I think it will be, hate to say this, a hard market for the rest of this year and into 24, to be 25 before we're back to normal, I think. But we're going to do our best. We've already started renewals. Uh, we're hoping that we'll get what we want. We're not asking for the moon and the earth. We're just a profitable company looking for a reasonable deal. Policies, new policies we're looking at, you know. Uh, we're looking uh, in our company for uh, as many new products as we can see, uh, but we're not looking to, say, ensure COVID, you know. Uh, good new policies, to, new to Cambodia, maybe decennial cover, I don't know. Um, that's what we're doing. I think the main challenges will be in terms of really um, climate change. Uh, historical patterns is no longer uh, a norm. We really need to be mindful about catastrophic events impacting our book. So portfolio management is really the key. Uh, in terms of individual risk assets, uh, I think we need to also be mindful about BI exposure, business interruption, mainly driven by the global supply chain uh, impact. And as a question to myself and also to the industry, are we really adequately pricing this uh, kind of huge exposure in our books because we may have a simple or small physical damage loss but we are incurring huge bi loss because that's an important financial element for our insured but we need to price it adequately so that we can actually ride through uh, the business cycle with them too